Hello, hello, good afternoon. This is Maria Simone from the Wood County District Public Library, and I'm here also with Matt Mailing from Wallbridge. Hi, Matt. Hey. How are you? Doing good, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good, it's good to see you. And also with us, special guest, retired children's librarian, Kathy East. Hi, Kathy. Hi. Hi, isn't this great? So we're here today to open up a time capsule that is 21 years old, that was actually created during a summer reading program here at the library. And we have one here in BG, and Matt has one at Wallbridge. We're not sure what is in this time capsule. You probably don't know either, but we don't know. 21 years ago, this time capsule was created, and Kathy East was working here. I, um, I was not here. Kathy East was working here. So, Kathy, can you tell us a little bit about the summer of 1999, 21 years ago, when the summer reading program was? I can. I have to admit that I had to go back, but you know what we did? We made scrapbooks for um, every summer reading program, and this was the one for 1999, and you can see it as an incredible library time machine. So it's not surprising that a time capsule might be part of it. Um, we also, so it has lots of pictures of all the programs that happened during that summer. And that summer, um, we had a mascot at the library. It was a cat. And part of the reason we had a cat was because we were talking about many lives and it was you know how cats are supposed to have nine lives well we studied nine different or featured nine different times in history as part of that and then at the end said we would make a incredible time machine so or our own for nice. what was the cat's name felicia was the cat's name and she lived under my desk and at that time, the children's room was upstairs in the library building. So who we remembers that? Wow. Yeah. And this is the t-shirt from that year. Um, after I retired, uh, Miss Janet took my t-shirts from the various years and made them into a quilt for me. So it was really nice that um, I could use it for something and share it with everybody because it really is a great thing to have. A lot of kids do do that with their t-shirts from sports teams. This is actually the t-shirt from this summer from Imagine Your Story. So it fits in really well, doesn't it? Imagine Your Story. We're imagining what's in here. Right, so. just as we learned about those times in history, here we are thinking about kind of the way you set it up so that it's the different stories and fairy tales and a, a special secret about each of them and the idea that you could, you know, imagine your own story. Right, by, right. Put it in a time capsule. Right, and we're encouraging families to consider making their own time capsule. We will put some things in the 2020 time capsule, but we're not going to seal it until the end of summer because we would like to still get some feedback from from all of you as to what you think is significant and important. We have some ideas and we've been collecting ideas from kids that have been contacting us and that we've been on Google Meets with and that sort of thing to get some ideas. So we do have some ideas, but we um, we would really like some more ideas. So. Yeah, I don't and we really know why we decided 2020. I don't know, <laughs> but it just says no, do not open <laughs> that oncoming year, and so maybe we just thought, oh, you have to save it for a long time. So right. Years, so we've be. decided that we'd like to stay with that tradition because tradition's important here at the library, and so <laughs> we would like to stay with the tradition of 20 years. So we're going to put a note on here that not to open this. Or, or the one at Wallbridge until 2040. So consider <laughs> where are you going to be in 2040? You know, what's going to be happening in 2040? We actually are also making available um, to the public at curbside service, and it's also on our website. I'll put another link um, on, in the comments on this Facebook Live. But we're also making available to the public this um, journal uh, about COVID, a COVID time capsule. So families could decide if they make their own time capsule and maybe you'd make it with, you know, something like this, or maybe you would make it with, you know, a different kind of canister that you have at home. 
Um, but you could make, you know, you families could decide for themselves, obviously, when they would want to open the time capsule. Maybe they wouldn't want to wait, um, you know, 20 years to, to open a time capsule, but maybe they, maybe they would. And there's actually a time capsule at City Park that won't be opened until, and I'm going to, I'll have to get the information on that, but it's not going to, I don't think it's going to be opened until 2070. So there's some time capsules around town that are, um, you know, but if it would be fun to, to put one in your own backyard, and here we have a book about cool outdoor activities, and there's a feature about time capsules in here as well. And oh, very, oh wow. Right, and isn't this cool? This is a metal. Um, like uh, one of those metal watering, you know, uh, drinking can canisters. Do you have something like this, Matt? Do you drink any water out of something like this? Well, I see a lot of kids coming into the library that are hydrating with stuff like yeah. that. Um, and then we also have in the in the local history collection uh, a, a, a nice um, homemade, like it, this woman lived in Bowling Green and she created a, making a time capsule for your family. So there's really good ideas of like what kind of things a family would want to put in their own time capsules. So, oh, and we have some great books too. Of course we do at the library about um, that, that are fiction that have time capsules featured in them. So this book actually is relatively new, written by Kate Messner Breakout, and it's told as a time capsule. So it's letters and, and um, like, um, ideas of like what it, the whole to story is told as a time capsule and it's a quite a bit of a mystery and a, a very um, re very timely story right now too so yeah so I know we want to open this time capsule can I tell you what was and Kathy knows but can I tell you what was the Caldecott and show you what was the Caldecott and the Newberry in 1999 so Holes has definitely um, held up and how fun because holes, you know, maybe you'll be burying your time capsule and digging a hole. But this is a great story. I hope a lot of you have read this book and the, the, um, the, uh, the movie is fabulous. And so we have um, copies of this at the library to check out at curbside service or to come in and check out. And then Snowflake Bentley. So Holes was written by Lewis Sacker and Snowflake Bentley won the, um, the Caldecott, and it was written by Jacqueline Briggs Martin and illustrated, so the, the um, medal went to Mary Azarana. So, and this is about um, a, a gentleman who created a, a camera, and so interesting because pictures are really important in, um, in time capsules and in recording history as well. So, so who's ready? Who's ready to open this up? Yeah. Are you ready, Matt? Are you ready? Should we do it? So yeah. should, should we, I'm gonna be very careful with these scissors. I'm always very careful with these scissors, but I need these scissors because this is really sealed. It's not heavy um, and, it's, and it, it doesn't sound like there's anything too clunky in it. So Matt, let's hear yours. Yeah. We got, yeah, maybe it's empty. Oh no, maybe it's empty. <laughs> we got a lot of paper over here. So let's let's open these up, and we'll be very very careful opening them up. They have been living. We did not bury these, but they have been living in a back room in the children's department. That is a treasure treasure trove of all kinds of things that we like to use for um, story times and for displays. And so this, the, these time machines have been living in our back room um, waiting to be opened. And I look at them so often thinking, what is in there and how, how are we going to open this? We just know that we have to wait until after July 4th. Do you have yours unsealed, Matt? Yep, got it. I think I've got mine too. I wonder what it smells like. I don't smell anything. I don't smell anything. Do you smell anything, Matt? They didn't put any food in mine. They didn't put any food in yours. That's good. No cat. No 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 cat toys. Or... Oh, interesting. Yeah. Oh. It is a lot of paper. Wow. Now at this program that that Kathy was talking about and show pictures of, it's clear that kids made their own to take home. So I wonder if if there's anybody who still does have a time capsule in their 
in, under their bed or in a closet. So, you know, maybe you'll, so should I pull one thing out to say what it is and then you'll pull something out? We can take turns, Matt? Sounds sure. good. Okay. Oh, it's the pet show at the park. It's an article from the Sentinel Tribune about the pet show at the park. Oh my gosh, and this is happening virtually. So their deadline, I think, already happened to submit a picture or a photograph, again, photographs, um, or a little video. I submitted a, a video of my dog, Watson. A perfect night for a pet show in the park. Oh my gosh, this is great. So Megan Rowe, one with Thumper, oh, Bunny Rabbit, and Cindy Baum, oh, one yeah. with a dog named Max, a Chinese crested dog. Wow, can you see this? Very cool. That's great. And the pet show, we're, stay tuned because the Sentinel, or the Bowling Green Park and Rec Department is going to, um, oh, we'll have to take pictures of all of these things because it shows who won the prettiest dog and the best pet trick. <laughs> wow, Megan Vicchio won the best pet. Oh, this is awesome. Wow, some really, really, um, you know, lots of uh, familiar names too. Wow, that's okay. great. Speaking of pets, the cat. Nice. All right. Yeah. What do you got, Matt? Okay. Uh, okay, I got a. It looks like a maybe a magazine um, piece of a magazine with some Nike shoes on it. Um, oh. So we'd be able to see like what um, what the Nike shoes looked like back in the day in 1999. Twenty so, years ago. Does it tell you how much they cost? Um, Ooh, good question. Yeah, they don't. Um, on the back side, it's got um, kitchenware, and you could you could buy um, some kitchen gadgets for um, twenty seven dollars. <laughs> awesome! That was something that was mentioned in Marjorie Waterfield's book. Is like put a receipt in, you know, a receipt from you know, the grocery right. store or something like that that would show, you know, how so much milk done, was right. or... How much did a house cost? How much did gas Yeah, like your house deed. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. That would be... Yeah, something, yeah, yeah, something like, really, yeah. Okay, sure. are you ready? So I could just, yeah. I'll yeah. just like open... Okay, so this is another... Oh, the Wood County Fair, fair time. It says the Wood County Fair edition can be found inserted in today's Sentinel Tribune. The photo above shows how the fair was advertised in 1917. The 1999 oh, wow. fair begins Tuesday and goes through August 9th. So very similar week of the fair. So, wow. That's cool. So another, look at that. It, this, this paper, this newspaper held up pretty well. It's a little bit yellow and it's a little bit more crinkly, but held <laughs> up. So the Wood County Fair, fair time. That's what's happening. And that's, Still happening, so cool. All right, I got a good one. I got um, oh, Michael Jordan. Michael um, Jordan. Someone put a picture of Michael Jordan on here. Um, he's he's a, the big star. Yeah, he, he back was. Then, back then, he was probably just at the end of his career, retired for the second time. So uh, he was still <laughs> which, like. Which career, you know, right? Yeah, yeah. Right, Fifth right. Time, Baseball. Yeah, NBA championship. Yeah. Matt, did you yeah, watch that time. special about about Michael Jordan? Oh yeah, the last dance they just had that. Yeah, that took a long was... time to to make yeah. make available. So that was yeah. really good. Yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah, like that was like you know twenty years from now. Um, you know. Yeah. Who? Yeah. Right. Right. So who is the yeah. star now, and will right. they will be they be remembered? You know, that's a good idea. Yeah. So help True. help me remember that too. That we should put some something right. from a. Uh, maybe you know, LeBron maybe. James, put LeBron James in there. Yeah, okay, there well, keep yeah. re keep remembering these things, Matt. Okay, so I've got uh, something okay. that is um, a piece of yellow. Wow, it's held up. A piece of yellow uh, construction paper, and I'll unfold it. And oh, wow! So it's a it's a list. So let's wow. let's read it together. Can you see this list? Yeah. August second, nineteen ninety nine, Wood County Library Children's Room. Best picture book, Dr. Seuss. Best chapter book, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Wow. <gasps> Music group, Ricky Martin. 
Yeah, oh. get some, or maybe get some laughs there. Oh, look at that. Pro ba baseball player. So sports have been still important, obviously, to these kids. Pro baseball player Ken Griffey Jr. Pro football team Broncos. Favorite movie Rugrats. Wow. Uh, favorite TV show Cat Dog. Cat Dog. And computer game. Oh, this is a good one. Computer game Ruby the Frog. <laughs> Who remembers Ruby the Frog? That would be probably. Oh, and favorite food spaghetti. And then they, they didn't finish number 10. They like got tired. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. I wonder who wrote this out. That's another thing that I was reading when I was reading about, you know, time capsules is actually if you're going to do a time capsule that's going to go really, really, really a long time, like 100,000 years, that you actually <laughs> should, should do your writing in a number two pencil, that a number two pencil actually um, will deteriorate more slowly than even like an ink pen. But this permanent, oh. this looks like maybe it was permanent marker. So it held up really well, 20 years. What you got, Matt? Yeah, I've got a yellow piece of paper like that too. Oh, cool. Mine looks a lot smaller. Um, it says time capsule, uh, August 5th, 1999 is on it. And okay. Um, it has favorite movie, Babe, favorite TV show, Rugrats, so we got that in common. Um, best car, um, convertible, um, favorite music group, it has two of them. We got the Backstreet Boys and NSYNC. Nice. And then best book says chapter books. <laughs> well, we have Dr. Seuss, okay. Wow. That's great. That's great. All right. Are you ready for something else? Yeah. I think there's more than one more thing in here. Okay. So this is another article from the Sentinel Tribune. Temperatures tumble as sodden skies rumble. Oh, wow. The Sentinel was always, has always been so good about rhyming, um, rhyming um, headlines. So temperatures tumble as sodden skies rumble. So First it was bake, then it was shake, as yesterday's oppressive humidity-fueled heat, heat gave way to blooming thunderstorms that finally offered cooling relief to Northwest Ohio and Southeast Michigan. Wow, maybe this could even be written today, that? right? That was in August, and this is only July that yeah. we're sort of having the same kind of weather. Although it was the second hottest day of the year, the thermometer dipped quickly in the late afternoon as the cold front moved through the area, ending week, a week-long heat wave. The temperature at Toledo Express dropped 11 degrees between 4 and 5 p.m. from 91 to 80. The first wow. wave of th yeah, so we'll have to we'll have to make a copy of this and we can post all this stuff in the comments. How about that? Sounds great. Yeah. Wow. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And Weather's then. always important. <laughs> All right. Usually not to kids as much as to adults, but interesting. Right, right. So we got a newspaper article um, about Wallbridge. Um, and looks like a big picture. What's in the picture? It's a fire truck. Uh, looks like a vintage yeah. fire truck. Um, and it's got Wallbridge District Fire Chief. Uh, posed with the village's first motorized um, fire truck, fire engine, um, 1927. Um, wow, wow. Uh, so they were looking back in time. I wonder if they just had a lot of, you know, recent newspapers that they put out and asked the kids to, you know, yeah. copy, you know, cut, cut from there. <gasps> you know what? That was it. That's it. Oh, you see? Oh, my God. Wow. You <laughs> Do you have something else, Matt? You do? You have more? Okay, let's hear it. Let's see it. Real quick. All right. I mean, it's just full of papers here. Good. This one's not going to be helpful, though. This one's not going to be helpful. So there was somebody kind of young at the program then. I'm imagining I'm imagining this story right now. There was somebody who was four years old who said, we need to put this in. This is significant. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, 
Oh, we got horoscopes. Um, That's good. July 28th, 1999. Um, horoscopes. Um, oh, nice. Yeah. So, I mean, I could read off some horoscopes. Um, Mine's a Leo. <laughs> okay, read Leo, because that's that's yeah, yeah. that's right now, right? If your birthday is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't bother trying to hide your feelings. If it is, um, it is best to be honest and clear um, the air um, about any incidents that have occurred and, and afraid of your, um, okay, yeah. It's Maybe we <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> we, we... Is there... Keep digging. I can't, I would believe we would have put a library card in. Does Wallach have a library card in theirs? That's um, that's one of the things we want to put in the new the, the new one. New, is a yeah, library I wondered card. what they might have looked like then. Maybe it was just a card card. And, I uh, think maybe this program was just a lot of newspapers, and we said to the kids, cut out the articles that you think people want to read yeah. in the future. Yeah, and less about the library. Yeah. Yeah. Got anything uh, else, Matt? I, mean, I have a lot of like pieces of clippings of of magazines and, and whatnot. Yeah, that, um, yeah, that's what the kids must have yeah. done. Right, right. So now we're kind of imagining the story of what happened. Yeah. So we want to know what you want to put in. We're not just going to put out newspaper and ask you to tell us, you know, what newspaper articles you should we should put in. But think about what you think we should put in this current one we're not going to seal it because we want to um you know we want to get some more input from you and um so we have gotten some input so could i share some of the things that we thought about and and sure. show you some of the things we've thought about yeah. of course everyone is going to be extremely familiar with these and you have to have a mask to come into the library right now i am like we have a special studio where i don't have to wear the mask but when i'm in the rest of the library i have to have this mask on or this one was homemade a lot of map people are making masks and um our board pres our board uh, member ellen dalton made us a lot of homemade masks so we have different masks that we're going to put in the time capsule matt do you have anything there that you're thinking about oh there you go there's the mask okay awesome masks how about how about um oh yeah Book this cards. is this summer good idea yeah so you'll see this banner when you come to curbside service because the same image is hanging um in the window so imagine your story so yeah so we'll put these in the library card so everybody knows what this looks like now but do you but will you well is this what the library card will look like in 20 years we don't know this is actually a prize. Oh, okay, good. This is actually a prize that we're going to make available at the end of summer. So keep reading, and you'll be able to earn some um, points. And But this is one of those snap bracelets. We think that maybe this will still be super popular in 20 years. But, um, you know, it's just one of those. But you know what is really popular right now and has been popular for a little while, more, more than just in 2020? But um, unicorns, super popular. Yeah. So, yeah, and, and maybe... Oh, maybe our our current Connect magazine because this has a lot of information about um, what and is all the programs that we have this year. It's not so many virtually. Cool. And maybe we'll get a map of Wallbridge, but this does have all of Wood County in it, and so a map would be good to see if see if some of the um, boundaries have changed in 20 years. Oh, a pin. From the summer reading program that'll make that'll make some noise and, and kind of drive them crazy right when they're trying to figure out in 20 years what what's that banging around oh a magnet this is our this is our usual hours now we all know that our hours are different now but these are our what have been our hours for 2020 up till um this global pandemic um so oh and really oh, your library that's great i love yeah. that Kathy says, I love that, right, because it's the hearts. <laughs> I love that. Love, I love my library. Hey, this is really cool. Matt had a great idea for something made from our um, 3D printer. And this oh. is really important right now, the, um, the bicentennial of Wood County. So Wood County was founded in 1820. So we, this is the logo for the bicentennial celebration. So we want... Um, we want kids to know in 20 years that we were celebrating as best we could 
the, um, the bicentennial of, of our county, which is very important. Um, yeah, so we have a couple other things, a pencil from the summer reading program. But we need some like receipts. That would be good to put in some. Oh, I do have, and I can get you one of these, um, Matt, a 2020 um, coin. That might be fun. Oh, yeah. so, oh, and we have the list of what won the Caldecott, the Newberry, the Coretta Scott King Award, all of our really important awards. So we might, maybe we could make a list of what the kids, you know, some of the kids are favorite things, but these are librarian choice um, awards, really important awards, and this is the whole list of all of them. I can show you that um, what did win the, the Newberry and the Caldecott this year, so um, they will, um, you know, be talked about in 20 years from now as well. With those two books. Yeah, yeah, thank you, good idea. Who knows? Right. So, so right, right, and and, and both of them. Um, this is has a lot of history in it. So, the undefeated, written by Kwame Alexander and illustrated by Kadir Nelson, and then the new kid actually is a historical Newberry. Oh, and this also won. Um, an, both of these won awards for the Coretta Scott King, and this also. And the Newberry. Right, right, right. A Newberry honor, right? Newberry so it, yeah. Honor, so right. so check this book out. It's available for um, curbside, and so is this one, and so are these, and so are all of these books. But the new kid is actually historic in our world because it is a graphic novel, um, and it was the first graphic novel that won for the Newberry. So 2020 things are things are different, but um, some things are kind of similar, aren't they? Yeah, some things are kind of similar. Like sports are really important pets and animals are really important to kids and and just it, cool and interesting images didn't know that horoscopes would be interesting but maybe they were thinking like future so yeah so please let us know what you think we should continue to think about putting in and sealing for the 2020 or the 2040 opening of um this time capsule and think about like you know maybe writing a letter to yourself for your own time capsule or filling out this we'll put these on at our curbside and we'll also send the link share the link um so think about one of one of the items in here is to say like draw, draw your hand or to um draw write a letter to yourself in the future i thought that was a really cool idea um but yeah so pictures and um clippings and um lists i think are really cool so Hey, this is fun. Do you guys have anything else to to share or think about with this situation? We we've already made our time capsules, so we're we're kind of good to go, but we would like more ideas. So, you know, the library loves ideas and we love imagining our story. So, this has really been despite the fact that it's a difficult summer, it's been um still a really fun summer reading program and we're really really happy to have the technology and be able to have people join us in all kinds of different ways um, virtually. So sign up for the summer reading program, go to our website, wcdpl.org, and give us a call at 419-352-5050. Matt, what's your number for curbside service? 419-666-9900. Say that again, Matt. Yeah, it's 419-666-9900. I love that. I love that number. So ours is 419-352-5050 or 5050, and that will get you like all set up with a bunch of books. You can also just go on our catalog and pick out the books yourself. We like we like um, thinking about, given what you like to read, thinking about what else you'd like to read, and we have a wonderful collection here. So we really want to share our books with you. So they're your books. So. Great. Hey, thank, oh, thank you very you. much. I appreciate being here. It was fun to see. Oh, you. Kathy, we we're so grateful for all all of all of what you have done historically for this library. So oh, thank you. Was you. Was oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You know, we we really miss the toys. Kathy was historic <laughs> with getting okay. toys here, and something. you're going to advocate for that getting them back when the time is right, aren't you, Kathy? Because right. right. play is so sure. important but here. It is important to be safe and to be healthy right thank now. you so, thank you right okay. right great well thank you thank for playing you with me today have a great day thank Good you time capsules, all of you thank you and at um bowling green library and at the wallbridge branch enjoy right. thank you 
Hey, until next time, take care. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.